Hey, how's it going folks? Got a real good one for you today. Today we're going to talk about how you can get a sleeper for $500. And no, I don't mean buying a sleeper for $500. I'm talking about getting a sleeper car plus $500 in your pocket. You don't think that's possible? Well, think again, because it is. So as some of you may know, I recently purchased this 2000 Audi A6 Quattro with a 2.7 liter twin turbo V6 engine. And I purchased this car at an auto insurance auction for a total of $588. And I basically bought this car to modify, make it faster, and basically make a sleeper out of it. Now, however, this car does come with a salvage title, and that's because, as you can see, it's got a bit of a collision damage on this driver's side. This fender is totally damaged and needs to be replaced. So is this front bumper cover and also the headlight, obviously. Other brackets and such inside here that might have been damaged and the hood as well. But luckily, this front driver's side door seems to be in good shape. Now I plan on fixing this myself, as in buying the parts, replacing them, and then painting them. But still, simply buying the panels is gonna cost a good couple of hundred dollars, especially if you buy OEM, which you should try to do if you want better fitment. Uh, but then again, I thought of a better idea, which is why not instead of buying all the parts and spending hundreds of dollars, simply buy another car just like it that is broken down. And that's exactly what I did. This car is not only the same year, same body style, but also it's the same exact color. As you can see, it's just a little dirty. But we're still going to paint all the panels we take off this car and put on this car because we want a good color match. Now, as you can see, this car does come with a 2.8 liter V6 engine, which is naturally aspirated versus the 2.7 turbo engine we have on this car. But then again, I don't care about that because I did not buy this car for its engine or transmission. I simply bought it so I can use these panels on my sleeper, that way I can save money. So yeah, looks like I'm gonna be able to use this bumper cover, which is going to be OEM. This driver's side fender, even though it's kind of banged up and uh, scratched, but uh, I guess this will make a good video showing you guys how you can repair this and paint it. And also this hood is in good physical shape. Again, it just need a paint job. Now this headlight though, looks in a really rough shape. Well, we know how to fix this, don't we? But anyway, I was able to get this car off Craigslist for 500 bucks. Now, the previous owner had it listed as a non-runner uh, with expired registration. And as you can see, obviously, this car is not in good cosmetic shape. So therefore, they pretty much had no choice but to give it up for cheap. Now, I did not care much about the mechanical condition of this car, as I said. But funny enough, when I asked them why this car was not running, they said it needs coils and spark plugs. And of course it does. All non-runners listed on Craigslist for cheap, all they need to get back to running condition is usually just coils and spark plugs. But before we go those, buy those parts and throw it on this car, let's just crank the engine and listen to the engine first. Now I don't know if you guys could tell because my uh, boost pack ran out of the juice pretty quick. And by the way, if you decide to buy one of these, buy the bigger ones. These uh, smallest ones, they only are good for only a few cranks. I'll put links in the description if you're interested. But anyway, this engine has clearly compression issues. Uh, it has no compression, at least uh, two, maybe three cylinders that I could count. And that could be for a variety of reasons, like maybe a bad head gasket, uh, broken or jumped timing belt, uh, or timing chain, uh, camshaft timing chains, which these engines have in the back. None of which are easy to fix and are very costly, especially for someone that cannot do the repair themselves. So yeah, the coils are probably not the reason why this engine is not starting. But anyway, we kind of knew that, kind of figured that, plus we don't care about the mechanical condition of this car again. Now the way we're going to be able to get our sleeper for f plus $500 in our pocket is as you probably guessed, to use the panels we need from this car on our sleeper car, and then from there, start parting out this car. Now I've parted out cars before when I was kind of desperate for money, so I kind of know what you can get for each part. So for example, this car has catalytic converters on both sides and you can sell those as precious metals and you should be able to get, you know, 100 to $200 for those easy. This car also has nearly new Pirelli tires and wheels that are really in good shape as well. And I figure uh, if I want to sell these quick, I should be able to get 100 to 150 for all the four tires and wheels. These tail lights should bring in about 20 to $30 each. This bracket here alone should bring $70 on eBay. Can put down the rear bumper for about 100 bucks. These side view mirrors for probably about 40 bucks each. These Audis have an air pump that goes out all the time, which is down there. That should sell for about 50 bucks, no problem. Same thing for the ABS pump and module, probably 50 to 70 bucks, I'm assuming. 
And also if it turns out that I don't need this whole front supporting assembly myself for the sleeper car, this along with the condenser, the radiator, and other brackets that go along with it should bring in about 200 bucks. The window master switch should bring in 50 bucks. The driver's side and passenger side window regulator and motor should bring in 40, 50 bucks easy. These engine covers will sell. This air intake tube, our air filter box, MAF sensor, and also this tube right here will sell. And after a cleanup, this front grille should bring in at least 60, 70 bucks. Plus a bunch of other parts which I cannot think of right now. I'm basically not gonna completely strip this. I'm just gonna, you know, take off all the parts that are easy and sell them to recuperate not only the money I spent on this car, but also the money I spent on this car. Plus, according to my calculations, I should be left over with uh, anything between 500 bucks to 1,000. And from there, with the money that's left over, we can simply make a couple of mods to our sleeper car, which should give it about a 70 to 100 extra horsepower and torque. Now, of course, I'm gonna talk about those mods in future videos, so you wanna make sure you stay tuned. And also, to the degree to which I decide to strip down this car is yet to be decided. Because as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of space here, and it's kinda important that I clear out this driveway. Sooner the better. But if you do have the luxury of space, you know, you can obviously strip down this car to bare bone, make some money and at the same time fix your project car and then with the leftover money do some mods on your project car as well. Now of course having a sleeper car and in addition to that having some money in your pocket is highly dependent on having the know-how <laughs> to fix all this stuff and doing mods to your car and whatnot. Now if you don't have that, lucky for you, I'm going to take you step by step in uh, repairing the damage on this car, making mods to this car, getting it faster and all that good stuff. So if you have not already done so, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also check out these other related videos of which I'll put links to on this side of the screen that you can click on. There will also be links down below in the description box as well. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.